Welcome back, and if you recall last time, I mentioned that uh, I started the process of um, f fitting everything together more nicely and sanding on the flanges and that sort of stuff for all the, the parts that we currently have for the fuselage. And um, as you'll see here shortly, that's uh, moving along quite rapidly now, so that's good to see. And here you can see I've taken the nose off and I've actually sanded back where the primer was on that um, joggle there, which is basically the flange that mates the two together. And I've been working on uh, fitting, or finished off actually, fitting um, the door here, the nose compartment door in there. So it basically that's yeah, going to have a hinge at the front, obviously. But uh, it fits nicely uh, in place there now. Just needed a little bit of sanding work around the edges just to get it to fit nicely. So that's uh, another step down and happy with how it turned out. And meanwhile, still other things going on. So this is these um, pressure intensifier blocks for the door frames, the outer door frames for where the locks are and uh, or where the lock receivers are actually. So those had to be uh, cleaned off and sanded. So that was something actually I was working on on Wednesday morning. So I got that done. And as you can see, they're all numbered, so we know what, what position they belong in, um, in each frame. And meanwhile, the guys are working on the last round of sanding on this uh, second um, wing skin um, plug. So the other one's already done, as you know, the other lower one. So this is the second lower one. It's coming along. And here is the left lower wing strike uh, plug. And so that's getting the last round of uh, wet sanding there with um, 320 and 400. And that'll be ready for waxing there shortly, so not far away from being able to pull a mold from that one as well, which is good. And this is the right upper wing straight plug, and so this one has already had uh, two coats of primer on there, so it's ready for the last round of sanding, and then um, after that waxing, it'll be ready to pull a mold, so that's good. And keeping up with laying up parts, uh, Jeff is you see here creating a template for uh, being able to cut the core out for this one for the firewall um, and so that one won't be long we'll be able to actually create that part and here you can see with the foam core now cut and in place and also uh, some little four inch square uh, fr4 blocks there those are a quarter inch thick same as the core and those are for where the engine mount will bolt up to the firewall so that one is now ready uh, to lay up uh, next week. And here you can see I'm actually beginning to take all the different parts out of the fuselage and uh, sand them up where they're going to be bonding to another part. So that was the rear pressure bulkhead and uh, sanded up all the places where it'll uh, interface to another one. And uh, this is the lower pressure bulkhead so that's been sanded on the outside where it mates up to the inside of the fuselage there. So as you can see, things are coming out. The rear pressure bulkhead there has moved out. Still the keel just sitting there, um, just making sure that all's mating up nicely uh, with the forward bulkhead. That's what I was working on there, just to have those two um, meeting nicely. And going off on a bit of a tangent here, here's that uh, mold that the guys laid up those uh, braces on the other day. Just wanted to show you that. Those have been glassed into place. And you've already seen the underside of that one, so and it's already trimmed, so that one's basically ready for action now. And Jeff uh, popped out those um, door strakes and actually also put the little ribs in the back there. They're just basically sitting in there right now. So you can see how those came out. They, they came out really nicely. And here you can see I've actually sort of put one in place, sort of just resting on the door skin, kind of where it will be. Actually, yeah, it needs to move uh, up a little bit it's a little bit low there on the door so let's see about there somewhere is where it's going to live so of course that'll be bonded on it has a flange built into the back of it to make it easy to bond on it'll be kind of like a little lightweight storage thing where you can put rags and stuff in there we're going to probably cut out that rib there just so you can put your hand in there And the new cutting wheel that we were waiting on that fits in our uh, router arrived, so we were able to um, work on trimming the uh, main spar now. So here's Jeff with that in the router, and he just runs out along the edge there. He's got it set at three inches, which is the thickness of the spar cap there. And just a couple of passes there, because it's quite uh, thick there, that um, spar cap on the top there is at least a quarter of an inch thick, um, actually a little bit more. And so two passes there, and uh, 
it um, cuts through it without any problem and does a super nice clean job as you'll see here uh, in a minute. And of course you can't go around corners with that uh, router there so by hand Jeff has to come out there with a, a little air uh, recip saw and just finish off the last little bit there for the transitions as you can see he's doing. And here's the finished product apart from the fact that we still need to trim a little bit more off the ends. Um, Jeff's kind of left it rough there. We need to take some measurements off that to see exactly where it stops. But as you can see it's uh, looking super nice and of course the next thing I have to do now is get out there and sand those top flanges, top and bottom flanges and also the back face there um, where the where the spar is going to meet up or made up to um, the wing skins and also the aft bulkhead and of course we'll be putting it back in the mold and drilling the holes for the wing mount bolts and also the holes where the gear mounts go through which will actually help us align it to um, the aft bulkhead it's kind of nice to have those kind of as indexing points and you'll see that coming next week And here you can see now it's actually just sitting on the aft bulkhead and I got that sitting on a trash can just to show you how the two mate together. So obviously this will be looking inside the cabin now um, from that kind of view, kind of from the floor view. So that's the bottom of the uh, bulkhead there in the front of the picture. And you see how the spar sort of mates across the two there. And those two surfaces there have to be bonded together. You see it's been notched out there with the, where the flange is. Uh, on both sides and so I have to sand the back side of the spar in order to, to have a nice uh, rough uh, clean surface uh, for bonding there with the high sole but it's not far away from being able to actually bond those two together and those will probably be the first things that are bonded together actually and here that right upper straight skin uh, got finished with all the coats of wax so now the guys are putting down uh, the black top coat in there in preparation for uh, you know the start of laying up the mold for this one and so actually Roberto and Chris are in over the weekend and uh, laying the first layers on that one and along the lines of what I've been working on still here I had to uh, do the cutout in the keel for this aileron insert where the control stick for the aileron is going to go through and run down the center of the keel so that one's now done and I didn't get any video but I also mated the floor braces to the keel nicely because those need a little bit of sanding and here you can see on the uh, roof skin here uh, sanded off the flanges there, the mating flanges where it mates to the lower side. Also radius uh, all the edges here where the around the windows and um, sort of door frames. And you can see even around the hinge pockets there just kind of taken the sharp edge off there and smoothed all that out. And obviously around the front of the windshield there as well. So that one's uh, close to having everything done to it ready to be bonded into place. Anyway that's our update for the second half of this week and thanks again for watching.